Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com, news on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. This podcast was sponsored by cryptocurrency payment technology Flip, a creation of FitPay Inc., a leading provider of cutting-edge payment technology and a subsidiary of NextID, traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol NXTD. NextID is a provider of healthcare devices as well as payment credential management and authentication platform services. Learn more about how to order Flip at fliptopay.com. And Crypto Corner is also sponsored by Genesis Blockchain Technologies, or GBT. GBT is a powerful cryptocurrency centralized decentralized exchange, which will include a broad range of services and benefits from cryptocurrency and blockchain markets development, while avoiding complications and risks arising from cryptocurrency ownership, transfer, and exchange. You can download the Genesis Exchange and Wallet app at Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Learn more at www.mygenesis.io. Hey folks, Sam Mowers here, back with another episode of Crypto Corner. For news today, Monix Group wants to join Libra. Mark Zuckerberg says Facebook will wait however long it takes for regulators with regard to Libra. The SEC has given a green light to a crypto gaming startup that issues tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, and crypto investment app Abra has restricted U.S. users' services. So Reuters Japan reports that Monex Group, which owns Japanese crypto exchange CoinCheck, wants to join Facebook's Libra. Facebook, by the way, is traded on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol FB. The company's CEO, Oki Matsumoto, that's Monex Group CEO, said in a Q2 results meeting, quote, there are various possibilities, including financial inclusion and cross-border product sales, which extend financial services to people who cannot obtain bank loans because of poverty, end quote. According to Cointelegraph, Matsumoto announced in that same meeting that the company had actually filed an application to join the Libra Association, which would make Monex Group the first Japanese company to do so. Meanwhile, in a Q2 results conference call, Mark Zuckerberg himself addressed the regulatory uncertainty surrounding Libra. Zuckerberg, who is, of course, the CEO of Facebook, explained that the company will be patient with regulators. Quote, Facebook from a few years ago would have probably just showed up and tried to release a product on our own. Now the approach on all of these fronts is to outline the ideas and the values that we think an eventual service should have. We've opened a period of however long it takes to address regulators and different experts and constituents' questions about this and then figure out what the best way to move forward is, end quote. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, has given the green light to crypto gaming startup Pocketful of Quarters, Inc., or POQ, to issue blockchain tokens on the latter's Ethereum network. POQ gamers earn tokens, which are called quarters, and are only used for gaming applications. Jonathan A. Ingram, the chief legal advisor of the SEC's FinHub division, wrote, quote, Based on the facts presented, the division will not recommend enforcement action to the commission if, in reliance on your opinion as counsel that the quarters are not securities, POQ offers and sells the quarters without registration under Section 5 of the Securities Act and does not register quarters as a class of equity securities under Section 12G of the Exchange Act. Capitalized terms have the same meanings as defined in your letter, end quote. And Abra, a crypto investment app, has announced the restriction of some services for U.S. customers in a blog post yesterday. In response to regulatory uncertainty in the crypto space, the company has implemented the following changes. 1. U.S. users will no longer be eligible to hold QTUM, BTG, EOS, OMG, or SNT after August 29, 2019. And after August 29, 2019, New York residents will only be able to hold Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash on Abra. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. 
Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music. For disclosure purposes, Next ID is a PR news and social media featured company on InvestorIdeas.com.